What programming languages and tech stacks are popular in Japan? That's what we're going to take a look at today, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so we are here in my favorite Japanese coding challenge website, but it's also a job search website, paisa.jp. This is one of the ways how I got my tech job here in Japan. And what's so cool about this website, if you haven't seen me talk about this before, is not only does it have here programming, these are what they call the skill checks, which are basically the coding challenges. And they're timed, you have to do it uh, in a certain time frame, you get a rank, and then you can search and apply for jobs by this rank that you get. But just a heads up, you have to have a Japan residence card in order to actually use their career service. But there's a, there's a workaround for that if you're outside of Japan. We can talk about that later. And the other cool thing about this website, there's a lot I could talk about for this website, but let's just, let's look at the job search function. Now, actually, I wanna jump over to Japan Dev and Tokyo Dev real quick. 337 jobs in Japan. Uh, if we search for jobs, I'm just from the best of my knowledge from the jobs that I've looked at so far. Oh, well, here you can search. Yeah, TypeScript for the front end is very popular. TypeScript, let's go back. I digress. Oh, look, looks like they've increased these locations, I think. I don't remember all those being there. I haven't checked these websites in a while. But yeah, we can't really use this it's a too it's too small of a sample size i mean it, they're the best tech jobs in japan 337 of them but you can get an idea what those top companies are looking for so yeah i mean this is for like top not even top 10 percent, like top one percent devs for these jobs so if we want to go back to reality although you would need to be fluent in japanese for for probably most of these jobs on Paisa, I'm gonna go with TypeScript because that's my favorite and it's in demand. I think regardless if it's a, a Japanese language job or English language. So 1,400 jobs looking for TypeScript. If we're looking for frameworks, let's take a look at React. How many React jobs do we have? So still over a thousand jobs just on this one website. And by comparison, looking at a different framework, let's just, let's see what Vue is up to. Still a lot, that is a lot. Okay, that's more than I was expecting. What else are you gonna do front end with C Sharp? I don't know, I've, I've never used C Sharp, so I don't, I don't even know. I mean, that's that's still a lot. So we've got, we've got a lot of jobs there. Um, I think the moral of the story by the end of this is gonna be, it doesn't matter what you use. If you're in Japan already and you can speak Japanese, you're gonna get a job. That's that's my guess. Uh, but let's just take a look at Java. Let's, let's see what's going on with Java here. 2,000, there's over 2,000 Java jobs. So that just goes to show you, that's quite a bit more than TypeScript and, and all the fancy newer frameworks, just good old fashioned, fashioned Java. And what's PHP gonna do for us? There's, there are more PHP jobs than there are TypeScript jobs. I'm interested to compare it. Well, they've got it split between Python 2 and Python 3, 1600. So there's more Python than uh, TypeScript. Python 2, 900, okay. Java for Android, 130. So yeah, don't don't be looking for Java Androids. C++, almost a thousand. That's, that's a lot of C++ jobs. Ruby, the good old, okay, not, not, not as popular as what I thought. Go, 600. So that's not, I mean, that's considerably less than something like TypeScript or Java or Python, but that's still quite a bit of jobs for Go. And then just your good old fashioned Java, wow, JavaScript, 
yeah i mean i see this a lot you know like they want php javascript sql um those i see jobs just asking for those three so and of course i mean if you're building websites then yeah html and css is just a given i don't think they really i mean i think it's just understood so to recap what what we have learned here is typescript is about 1400 open jobs javascript is over 2000 java is was also over 2000 so 2200 and php 1700 uh, python Okay, so I believe the ranking is number one in Japan is Java. So there you have it, the most popular programming language in Japan. If you want to get a job, be really good at Java and PHP and also Japanese language. And bonus points if you have AWS, but AWS is definitely an in-demand skill in Japan. I see a lot of companies asking for that as well. And I think it goes a long way to get AWS certifications that you know Japanese companies love to see paper and, and certifications on paper. So lots of interesting jobs here. All right, well, I hope that was helpful for you guys and if you haven't gotten your first tech job yet, just keep at it. The The dream is still alive. It's not dead, contrary to the popular belief. I think I see a lot of people talking about AI, taking all the jobs and all that. It is harder compared to what it was, but, you know, especially in Japan. In Japan, it's very much the dream is still alive. Um, if you speak Japanese... Uh, yeah, you can definitely get a tech job over here. Now that we're at the end of the video, I'll just mention real quick personal update for me. I think a, a lot of people who are actually in contact with me know this, but for quite a while I've been transitioning over more into being a Shopify developer. Uh, I'm, I'm still working at the tech company, but definitely leaning more towards Shopify because I just like the nature of that work better. And I like helping people launch their brands online. So I'm doing a lot of freelancing stuff on the side in the evenings, weekends, and just all the time. And I'm helping other people get started as freelancers. So if you're interested in that or just getting my help for coming over to Japan uh, whatever I've, I've got consultations I have my apprentice program where I get people real job experience uh, from my freelance contracts so if any of that sounds interesting to you definitely check out the description of this video probably the the pinned comment as well and other than that I'll see you guys in the next video